the next concept that we need to know is effective collisions. Uh, effective collision is the collision that produces uh, reactions achieving minimum energy that is sufficient and with a correct orientations of collisions. Now, what does this mean? Eh? Okay, let's say we have a collision. Now, these collisions, these collisions, the orientation is correct. Okay, it collides with the correct orientations, but the activation energy is not enough, and then so there's no reactions. If the collision produces no reactions, it collides but no reactions, this type of collision is called the not effective collisions. Okay, it's a not effective collisions. But if uh, these two reactants collide, okay, and produce a product, produces a product, okay, and uh, it produces a product means that it, it overcome the uh, minimum energy, yeah, the, the activation's energy, and then it collides with the correct orientations. Only, yeah, only it will produce a new, uh, produce a new products. Okay, so if they collide and produce a new products, and these types of collision is called the uh, the effective collisions. So that is the difference between not effective collision and effective collision. Not effective collision collide no reactions. So that's not effective collisions. Effective collisions they collide they uh, produce a new product. There's a reaction and produce a new product, and that is effective collisions. These are the words: the activation energy, effective collision. These are the words that we are going to use uh, when we explain the factors affecting the rate of reaction. Make sure that you use the correct words. Eh? If you use the wrong words, no marks. Eh? Okay. The next thing is the frequency of effective collisions. So this is also a very important phrase that you need to know eh, when uh, you explain the factors affecting the rate of reactions. The frequency of effective collision is the number of effective collisions which occurs in one second. That's how many times uh, the particles collide in one second. That is called the frequency of effective collisions. Okay, we have two, uh, two important phrases here. Okay, one is called the frequency of the collision. Huh? Okay, another one is frequency of effective collisions. Okay, and uh, make sure that you know the difference between these two. Okay, this one just collisions. Some of the collision it may produce products, and some of the collisions uh, it may uh, produce nothing. Okay, they collide and then they come back to become the reactants. Uh. So that is the not effective collisions. But effective collision is the collisions that can produce product. It's uh, in correct orientation. It overcome the activation energy are, then it produces effective collisions. Uh, and then you need to know that the higher the frequency of collisions, the higher the frequency of the effective collisions. For example, sir, if uh, it collides 1,000 times in one second, uh, then maybe just uh, 20 of it is effective. Huh? It collides 1,000 times, only 20 times, huh? 20 of it produce a product means 20 of it is an effective collisions okay uh, if it collides 2000 times then 40 of it will produce a product means a 40 of it will be effective collisions uh, so from here we can see that uh, the higher the frequency of the collision the higher the frequency of the effective collisions okay so frequency of collision is how many collision in one second and uh, frequency of effective collision is how many effective collision in one second. And this is the most useful phrase that we are going to use uh, to explain rate of reactions. Uh, high frequency of collisions. Uh, sorry, it should be high frequency of effective collisions. Uh. High frequency of effective collisions. Uh, it will produce a high rate of reactions. Okay. So high frequency of collision means that uh, more uh, product is produced in one second. Therefore, the rate of reaction is high. Okay. Uh, if the frequency of effective collision is low, frequency of effective collision is low. Okay. Then the rate of reactions will also be low. Okay. So that is the relationship that you need to know.